right, everybody. Welcome to December 9th. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. It is my birthday. So, hello. <laughs> How are you? How are things? Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Um, next week, we are doing a class around Twin Flame, but it's mostly, well, it is around Twin Flame about figuring out who your Twin Flame is, but my friend Jakara does a great class about understanding your soul relationships and what they, you know, what they, what role they play in your life, what role certain people play in your life, and it's phenomenal. She's given the class once before, so we uh, asked her to do it again because we had such a huge turnout. So anyway, just want to say we are going to cap the, um, the attendance. So if you want to jump into that, I would jump in soon because it does sell out pretty fast. All right, darlings. Just forewarned is forearmed. All right, let's see where we go. The link to any class we have is down below in the description box. Crossing bridges. Grounding. And infinite abundance. Hmm. So there's somebody here or there's several of you who um, may be going through some kind of big change in your life and it's freaking you out. Uh, here's the thing. A um, couple things, <laughs> actually. So number one is about grounding, is about whenever you get into this anxiety space, really pay attention to your self-talk. I was talking about this on the Wednesday Live uh, yesterday and you know, your self-talk is such a huge part of how you react. When you start to have a fear reaction, if you're telling yourself, oh my God, this is what's going to happen. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's just going to escalate you up the, up the ladder. So the mantra when you get into that space is all is well. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, if you're watching this video right now, all is well. Okay. And needing to get yourself a little bit more grounded, a little bit less freaked out. And there's no reason to be freaked out. Infinite abundance is flowing in. So you may have had a lesson come in your life um, for the purpose of gratitude. So some of you may have been taking your um, own situation for granted or people for granted or something like that. And... Now you're seeing like, oh my goodness, though, if I lose that person, wouldn't that be just horrible and whatever. If you've taken relationships for granted over the course of this last year, now's your chance to kind of rectify that. All right. So, and also like your, your job or your, you know, whatever, however you're, you're bringing uh, abundance into your life in terms of money. We have the North Node moving into Taurus. Uh, the eclipse season shows, the eclipse season highlights the alignment of the North Node with the, um, with the sun. So it is one of those things that is moving you um, in the next direction. Let me see if I can get that better. Hold on. North Node, the moon is in alignment. The moon, sun, because it's a new moon, they're in alignment. This particular eclipse was a solar eclipse, the past December 4th eclipse. And that was in Sagittarius. And now it's kind of like passing out. The South Node is passing out of Sagittarius, going into Scorpio. The South, the North Node is passing out of Gemini, going into Taurus. You can see that these are all in retrograde. They always are in retrograde. So what we're doing is we're moving from an air sign, North Node, with Gemini, ideas, communication, and we're moving into an Earth sign, moving to Taurus. So in order to get in alignment with the energy that's coming in, you need to do a better job at grounding yourself right now and your self-talk. All is well. All is well. Okay? Okay. So let's see here underneath. <laughs> yeah, Ten of Pentacles, infinite abundance. That's what's trying to come in. My darling. Nine of Wands. Emperor. Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness, look at this. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups. Death. Four of Wands. Five of Cups. Oh my goodness. Stop looking back at the past. Because honestly, what's coming in 
is this beautiful energy. If you keep looking back at the past, and that's, you know, anxiety is about fear of the future, um, based on past events, like, oh, what if this happens? What if that goes off the wrong way? What if, you know, you're trying to control a situation based on your past behaviors or past baggage. You're trying to control a situation and what's trying to come in is really positive, is really beautiful energy, possibly the two best cards in the whole damn deck. Okay. This is trying to come in and I feel like you're holding it back because of your anxiety or because of your lack of grounding. So two of pentacles, queen of cups, it's time to do the work of the grounding of the kind of getting your feet into the into the carpet or to the floor feeling the energy of the earth if you want to go outside you're welcome to do it with your bare feet and feel the earth in the northern hemisphere that's a bit chilly right now but i will say there's also something to do with your heart chakra i had a really um intense experience a couple nights ago I woke up in the middle of the night. I've been doing this a lot lately, and I've seen a lot of you guys talking about trouble sleeping lately. I wrote three pages of mantras, three pages of self-talk that just kept coming through me, just kept flowing, just kept flowing, just kept flowing. Do I have it with me now? Um, and as I was doing it, I was feeling this energy of the heart chakra and the throat chakra just sort of like working together, and then up, I felt the the crown chakra just you know such beautiful energy flowing through and i feel like too much looking back to the past too much you know regret focus on past relationships focus on oh i shouldn't have done that or oh i shouldn't have said that or stuff like that not serving you too much anxiety about the future not serving you okay so the grounding here is about getting into the present moment 100 percent do this as much as you can. I know we all plan and I know we all have memories and things like that, but as much as you can during the day, try to get yourself into the present moment because that removes fear, removes anxiety, and that allows for manifesting on a high frequency. It allows for manifesting abundance, allows for you know infinite um, opportunities to come in, new people, whatever, because you're not living in fear or anxiety. Get rid of the fear and anxiety and infinite abundance flows. That's why self-talk is so important. The mantra, all is well. If you can just get that and like whenever you wake up in the middle of the night, you can just start putting yourself back to sleep by saying, look, all is well. All is well. All is well. Think about a time in your life when you overcame a big obstacle. Think about the time when you had, you know, big success. You've done it before, okay? You've had success with boyfriends or girlfriends or, or relationships before. Don't go to the place where, okay, well, that ended, so that's a, that's a failure. No, it's not. No, it's not. Just because something doesn't continue in your life doesn't mean it's been a failure, okay? It just means that it's time for it to end and new things need to come in for new lessons, for new things showing up. So that whole idea about feeling like you're a failure after being married for 28 years, that's ridiculous. Okay, that's ridiculous. You had some successes, some failures within that time period, but it was time for transition, right? It's time for transition. It's time to move away from the thing um, or from the way you've done things in the past. And I feel like some of you could almost have a couple of new opportunities coming in. Um, could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio showing up pretty loud here. Aries also showing up loud. But if you're trying to control the future by looking at your past and stewing around in mistakes you've made and things, then you're not manifesting something that has a new energy to it. You're manifesting a repeat thing. So some of you like get pissed at me because I'm, you know, I do readings and I'm like, an old boyfriend's coming back. I mean, it, you're in the frequency somehow of that person showing up. Otherwise, you wouldn't see them. It wouldn't happen. If you're not in the frequency of that, it doesn't happen. Okay? It happens because we're in the frequency of that. So if we're looking back to the past and we feel 
regret over something, then that can surface again in some way. Okay, it can materialize in our life. We might want another, you know, another swing at the bat. We might not want to, you know, apologize or reflect and, you know, change what happened. We might want to do that. And so if you manifest the past, the past shows up. Okay, so I'm going to clarify a couple things here. I'm going to clarify the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Three of Cups. Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacles. All right. This is about, some of you are manifesting uh, a third party situation back into your life. Um, it could be the actual person that you were connected to. It could be the spouse of the person you were connected to. It could be another third party that looks like that, a pattern. Um, and it's really time to learn from it. Okay. It's really time. It's, you can no longer have these patterns in your life again, but I feel like by focusing on whatever you're focusing on, even if it's like fear or anger or whatever it is, like, I hate that person, right? Like you're saying that to yourself, about the past, then that's emotion. And, you know, other frequencies glom onto that, especially if that person has a lower vibration, they can glom onto that and show up. So just be mindful of how you're talking to yourself. If you don't want someone showing up in your life or a pattern, then if you find yourself thinking about that person, thank you, I've learned my lesson, there's no need to show up. You need to like say it out loud. And you need to feel the new lesson being integrated. You need to feel the way it mean, what it means to move forward. If you stay stuck in these old energies, there's a huge chance that either a pattern shows up or that person shows up. FYI. Okay, Five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Notice a trend. Um, I feel like some of you may regret um, some things you've done in your work or things you've not done in your work or mistakes you feel like you've made this year. Um, I feel like you should focus on the potential and the growth moving forward. I think that's what's going to bring you to infinite abundance. There's no point in dwelling in mistakes. None. So say to your guides, thank you for bringing in that opportunity. I see what the lesson is. I'm integrating it. There's no need to bring that lesson around again. No need to experience that again. Uh, some of you, I feel like, are bringing in um, a person who is infinite abundance. So you're either manifesting infin infinite abundance in you or the person relationship that you're bringing in will have infinite abundance as a piece of the pie, okay, as a piece of the deal. And this person can be somebody who's gone from rags to riches, five of pentacles to king of king of pentacles. They could have had like a really tough time of it for a long time and now they're doing really well. They work at it. They're putting time and effort into it. This is not something that, um, you know, I, I do feel, it's not like they won the lottery. This is somebody who built a business, somebody who is, you know, in charge and understands what they're doing, what they're putting into the world and money itself. They are understanding money now. If this is somebody coming back, if you do have somebody coming back from the past, um, it's possible that that had a third party connection to it. Um, it's possible that they have really changed their circumstances. But for the most part, this is more of a, a spiritual reading, I feel like, about how to manifest this infinite abundance that's trying to come through. Trying to come through. All right, so I will look at um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries uh, in the extended and welcome to December 9th. I hope you're doing great. And, um, I know I am. And thank you for all the birthday love. Thank you, my darlings for the birthday love. All right. If you want to continue on with this reading, the link is below. If you're part of Pathfinders, the rest of the reading starts right now.